Hey guys. Okay, where I'm at, the sun is beaming, so my face looks funny. Okay, I'm gonna hold it this way. That's better. Now I don't look like a ghost. So, all right, I wanted to talk to you guys about this specific topic, but first, happy Monday. Um, I know the last few live ones that I've done, I know I've kind of seemed out of sort and not as hyper or anything that I normally am. And I was going through a bit of like a funk, a bit of um, questioning things and um, hey guys, I see you hopping on. Um, make sure you comment. Oh, it's Tara. Hi Tara. I was just gonna say make sure you comment so I can see who's joining. So I did something that I normally don't do and because I did it, and because I feel amazing today and I feel refreshed, thanks Tara, I've definitely been, I laid out a lot last week, um, I, I will be doing this more. And I needed to share this today because it is, it was an eye opener for me over the weekend. Um, so like I said, I was feeling very, uh, very questionable. Um, questioning things in my life, questioning directions I wanted to go, feeling very blah. Um, there were some things I knew were definites that were never going to change in my life. And then there were some things that I was questioning, should I change it? Should I keep it? So um, I did what I knew I needed to do. And I, I took that time. I let go. I disconnected. Um, and I just kind of went with the flow. I even took a rest day on my workout yesterday. I don't remember the last time I took a rest day. My rest days are normally Sundays, and I use those days as like an active recovery day, and for me, an active recovery day, I go for like a three mile run. <laughs> I don't know, I used to hate running, but that to me is active recovery, I feel good. So, I said yesterday I wasn't gonna do anything. I mean, I walked like 10, 11 miles on Saturday um, with three of the Disney parks. So I told myself, I can give myself that. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna wake up Sunday morning. It's my daughter's 16th birthday. We're gonna go to breakfast. We're gonna have a good lunch. I didn't have my shake till dinner, which is not like me either. I just kind of like let go and just said, you know what, I'm gonna do my thing. Yes, I'm a workout dork. <laughs> um, so what I decided to do over the weekend is we were taking my daughter to Disney for her 16th birthday. And Friday, we were just hanging, decided we were just gonna hang around the hotel. We knew Saturday we were gonna go to like three parks, and Sunday we were gonna go to Disney Springs, do some shopping, have lunch, things like that. So, I decided before I left, I actually had my call with Tara, we do a coach call every Friday, and I decided before I left that I was gonna disconnect. I wasn't gonna do any work, I was just gonna be a mom. I was just gonna be me, I was going to enjoy myself, and I was just gonna have fun. Um, so I was just gonna let go. I was going to let go of controlling things. I was going to let go of, you know, having to be perfect or trying to do everything perfect. I was going to let go of all of that and I was just going to enjoy. And I did that and I feel great. I feel refreshed. I feel like a new me. I feel like I went away for a spa weekend. I didn't get one massage, so that's weird. But I feel like how some people, when they go away to like retreats or spa weekends and things like that they come back and they say how refreshed they are and that they feel like a new them and that's how I feel and it was just simply by letting go and letting go doesn't mean that you're letting go forever of those things it doesn't mean that you're letting go of people but if that's what you feel needs to be done then that's what you need to do but I just let go of the control I let go of like I said having to do everything having to be superwoman I let go of some responsibilities and I was just me and it felt fantastic. So I want to challenge my ladies out there that are feeling like I was feeling last week. You feel like the world is on your shoulders. You feel like every house chore is something you have to do. You feel like, you know, you have to be perfect. Your, you, you know, your workouts have to be perfect or your hair has to be perfect or your makeup has to be perfect or your outfit has to be perfect or, you know, your attitude has to constantly be perfect and positive and you can never be sad. For those people that feel like they're the only ones that do everything for their children, the only ones that take care of their children even though they have another, they, they have a dad or a mother or whatnot, that you feel like you're the one that does everything and you feel that you are the one that's there for everyone 
and maybe you feel that you don't have anyone to lean on. If you're feeling like any of those things, I have a challenge for you today. I have a call to action for you to do, not just today, but as often as needed. I have vowed to myself that I am going to do this on the weekends. Yes, I'm still gonna do my food shopping. Yes, I'm still gonna do my food prepping because that's part of my lifestyle. But what I'm going to do less of is work on the weekends. I am the CEO of my own business. I could set my own hours and I could set how much I work on my business. And I've given a lot of working on the weekends and things like that. And I feel that I need the weekends to connect with my family. That is my happy place. That is what refills my cup is having that time with my family. And I'm gonna make sure that I do those things and, and do it on the weekends. I wake up before anybody else is up and get my workout in for the purpose of being able to spend time with them. I'm still gonna do that. But if there are days that I'm tired, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself that rest and give myself that sleep because that's what I deserve. And that's what you deserve. You deserve to give yourself things, gift yourself things each week. And me, I'm gonna gift myself sleep if I need it. I'm gonna gift myself time if I need it. If me and the family have plans and we're doing things and we're getting up at whatever time to go do them, I'm not gonna do my work. The only work I will not miss on the weekends is my call with my team. I love our video chat call and that is something I will never miss. I, def I We did not do it this weekend because I was gonna be away and I was fully disconnecting, but I totally miss seeing their faces. So that is one thing I will continue doing because we do it early enough that no one else in the house is awake anyways. But my call to action to you is to gift yourself something. And I want you to think about what you're gonna gift yourself this week. And I want you to post it in the comment threads. What are you gonna gift to yourself? What are you gonna give to yourself that is gonna fill your cup? What are you gonna give to yourself that makes you happy? What are you going to let go of to make you feel less stressed, make you feel less like you have to be superwoman, make you feel less that the whole world is on your shoulders? What are you going to say, I am letting go of this and I'm gifting myself this? Hey Christy, how are you? So let me hear it guys. You should be posting two things in this comment thread. Lip zipped on this one. Tara, you better text me. I wanna know what you're gifting yourself. But I wanna know what you're gonna let go of and I wanna know what you're going to gift yourself. All right guys, let me see that in the comment thread. Have a great rest of your Monday. Bye.